Okay, welcome everybody to Coffee and Art in the Morning. And yes, I have a fresh pot brewing. This one's getting cold. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I thought I'd do a couple things today. Uh, there's some, some of the girls are working in their Imagimorphia. And this is one book I would love to finish all the way through. I'd love to show Kirby Roseanne's that somebody actually finished one of his books. <laughs> but we'll see how that goes. So um, I have worked in it where I spent one Saturday here a month or two, a, well, I don't know, a few weeks ago, doing washes on all the uh, main items. And then I've gone in and done some backgrounds with acrylic paint. And very few have I actually gone in and done any uh, details yet. So I thought I might work a little bit in this. And how I'm working in Imagimorphia is just going, you know, back and forth, page to page, uh, a little here, a little there. That way I'm, I'm working throughout the whole book and I eventually, hopefully, will finish it. So we'll, I think I want to do that in a little while. But first, I thought about doing a little bit in the talk about the magazine journals again. Um, here's a couple. I have, I think, three or four. But I pulled these two out that are older. And, you know, I started these way before I was uploading to YouTube. Although I have shown these and showed uh, working in bits of them and parts of them. And then I do have a video on this where this is two Flow magazines glued together to make this one. Now, I haven't done much in it. Let's see, where's a couple of pages that I have did do something in it? <clears throat> I kept the card stocky pages in here too, so it's kind of hard just to flip. Um, but anyway, I thought we'd talk a little bit more about using these. Um, if I can find the pages I've colored. Oh, I got to remember not to do the. There's one here with a girl in a bathtub, and you know how we can't have any kind of. Let me uh, let me let me uh, pin these pages together here. Let's see. Or paper clip them together. Somewhere I have a paper clip. So, um, anyway, if I can find the pages that we have colored in, or on, I should say. I know they're in here somewhere. Well, those are just background things, but there's a couple that we did. I know it was in this one. I'm pretty sure it was in this one. Let me flip again. Hang on, guys. Where is it? Hmm. I, I thought it was in this one. Did I have? Did we start another one too? I gotta go over there and look on the shelf. Maybe it was in a different one. I know we made a couple. Maybe it was in the other one. Hang on. Let me go look over. Here. I know I have a lot of them, but I didn't know I had that many. Well, I don't remember. I know I did a couple pages in one. I thought for sure it was this one. Really? I'm not finding it. The one where we did that tree. Seriously, guys? How can I not find those pages we did? Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter. We can do some more, but I thought it was in this one. Maybe it wasn't. Did we make two that day? Did we make two magazine journals that day? Because I've got, these are my old ones here. This was a new one. Let me look over here on this shelf. Hang on, guys. Well, I have no idea. <laughs> I guess I lost, I lost one of the magazine journals. <laughs> I lost one. So, hey, Pixie Cora. So, anyway, here's, a, here's this one, but I don't know where the one is we worked in. Weird. I did, too. Yeah. What was the cover of the other one? Why can't I find it? Why can't I find it? Let me look over here again, guys. There's another one. That's not it. That's not it. Wow. Somehow I lost a magazine journal. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> I got so many journals here, guys. It's no, no surprise. All right, well, I'm not going to spend all day looking for it. 
we'll just uh, we'll just keep working in these. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, this is one that we made that day. I made I I thought I'd made two, but I don't know what the, what happened to the other one. So let me just kind of show you what ha where you go with them. So this one has three magazines glued together. This one has two magazines glued together. And again, I've talked about right here, see how the spine warped? This is what happens if you go front to back with one of these and not skip around. So it's always best to skip around um, so that you don't get the spine to bend like that. And if you go front to back, front to back, like this one I did, front to back, it still warps a little, but it's not near as bendy as this is. So, so anyway, um, let me kind of show you here. Let me take up some of these pages. You can start with any kind. A magazine journal is, you take a magazine, and you find an image on the magazine that you like or that you like the colors and you get rid of everything else on the pages except the image you like and then you use that as your color uh, idea your color base idea uh, from that and then you can do any of your mixed media techniques in it that you would like to do the background so if you like to gesso you could gesso out all the text I just use white acrylic paint if I want to get rid of anything or you know uh, if I know it's gonna have a base of say you know blue then I'll just blue it all out whatever color you want to get rid of the background and then like I have some stamping here some stenciling probably some sprays and I was working earlier um, with some green paint baby wiping smearing taking your uh, ink pads and smearing them around the edge it's just all your same techniques that you're used to using in mixed media except you're using a magazine or two or three glued together to uh, as your book that's your book so let me just go ahead and I'll flip through a few pages here to kind of show you all right so for instance here's the contents page the you know the the first page and I just stenciled over it now you can carry this further and paint more on here and um, but what I was uh, what I was thinking about uh, sharing today was another thing that you know we've talked about you know journaling in these now if you journal over acrylic paint you're probably gonna have to use like um you know a, a ballpoint pen where's my ball you know just like a big pen or a, a you know a crystal big you know just a big pen that will go over acrylic paint like nothing else okay this will write over any acrylic paint but I found that I don't like to necessarily write on the page itself all the time. Oh, and don't try to use a Sharpie uh, acrylic paint because it'll dry the Sharpie out like in two lines and your Sharpie's dead. Um, so, <clears throat> so what you can do though, instead of actually writing on the, hang on, let me get my chat unfroze here guys. What you can do instead of writing on the actual page which that's fine too and if you like using you know the big or the by rows or if they're called it over you know across the pond um, if you like to write with those it's fine and there's they come in tons of colors too but and they'll write over acrylic paint but what you can do is write on let me see, let's take some of my loose pages out here you can write on other things even and I pulled some things out here where's one you know even your um, your little cards from uh, like project life cards or just cut up your scrapbook papers like here we go you know bits that's a card there but like your scrapbook paper bits and you can add that to it and also do like if you want to make it I thought about either quotes uh, I love words and um, etymology the history of words definitions and quotes and all that so you could maybe make a book of all kinds of word bites 
like, you know, just like maybe a quote, a definition, the history of a word. So I did pull out a couple books here that I have that are just some basic ones. I didn't pull my whole shelf full of word study books out, but I wanted to give you an idea. So, but you can use different things like this, okay? You know, like you, like look at these colors right here. Here's one that just says adventure, you know, and but what you can do is you can either staple them, tape them. You know, you got your washi tapes, you know. Uh, although I don't trust washi tapes. Like, for instance, here I use some washi tape to kind of make sure to reinforce this, uh, these two pages together. But I put glue on it. Anytime I use washi tape that I really want it to be more of a uh, an, uh, decorative element, but, you know, if you know it's not going to stick, <laughs> you know, or not last. So I always put glue, you know, and I just use Eileen's Tacky Glue, like, you know, this you know, Eileen's Tacky Glue, and I'll put that uh, on the washi tape to uh, hold it down. So if you're watching this recording on YouTube, this is a live show on Ustream.tv with a live chat. So I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to people in the chat and I am um, addressing questions. Sometimes I repeat the answer. So if you hear me being repetitive, I'm answering questions from people coming in. Don't email me. <laughs> so if you're here in the live chat, if you want to ask me or talk to me directly, put it in caps so that I know you're talking to me. Um, <laughs> yeah, I. well, some of the girls saying that I color really well. Well, you have to realize, too, guys, that I am a portrait artist. I do color, pencil, portrait, commissions. And so it's not like I've just picked up color pencils for the first time when color books came out. I've been using color pencils for, you know, way back when Prismacolors were Barrel, then Sanford, then Premier. You know, I, I've used color pencils for a long time. So, yeah. Yeah, so don't get discouraged. <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, back to the magazine journal. So you can use, you can make it a combination of lots of things, whatever your forte is. If you like painting, if you like, if you're like, you have a lot of scrapbook stuff left, if you like junk journals, if you like doodling, it all works with the magazine journal. Now, what I was going to say though about like if you do quotes or anything like that, and you don't necessarily like writing with a Bic or, or Biro pen in the journal, you can write on other cards. Like take another card, do, you know, maybe put some uh, ink or paint on around the edge here, or even use colored paper, and you can use whatever kind of pens you're, you like. Uh, gel pens or whatever that you enjoy writing with and write it on a separate card and then attach it in your magazine journal. So you don't have to feel like you have to write on the page. Know what I mean, Vern? <laughs> Thanks, Carrie. So, you know, you can do multiple things like like this. So this these are like leftover table of contents images from this magazine. Okay, this looks like it was the Artist Cafe, one of Somerset Publications, uh, whatever magazine you like. So if you are into gardening, glue you a couple gardening magazines together. If you like fashion, glue you a couple of fashion magazines together. Of course, if you have a, you know, Vogue or something, they're usually that thick anyway, so you don't even have to glue a couple together. Now, some magazines like the fashion magazines are much thinner. But trust me, when you put some acrylic paint on it, even if it wrinkles a little bit, by the time you dry and write and do the back side, that flattens it out quite a bit. I never mind if something has a little bit of a warp to it or a little bit of a wrinkle or something like that. But sometimes that bothers people. So you have to, you know, use a thicker magazine. Uh, usually the Somerset Studio ones are thicker. And, uh, and I never glue pages together, even when I've done composition books, uh, junk journals and, and uh, glue books. I, I never have glue pages together. I just don't. I, I just, to me, when you glue pages together, they are just as wrinkled, if not more so. So I just don't glue pages together. I just roll with it. 
<laughs> so I'm going to show you a few of the backgrounds that I have here and just show you that see, so I just picked these up off the table I have a bunch of scrappy things over here and then I did pull out I haven't used some of my scrapbook stuff for a long time because you know everybody's grown up and you know but anyway you have a lot of these little things left over like you know these little uh, faux ephemera and die cuts or you have your own die cutting machine you know, I have tons of my own die cuts. Do I have any right here handy to show you? Probably not many. Here, like, you know, your own little die cuts. And if you do have, a like, a silhouette or a, can, you know, I have a silhouette cameo or whatever kind of die cut machine you have, uh, if you cut it out in white, uh, you can color them any color you want. So almost, like, I'd say 90% of what I cut out, I cut out in white. Sometimes black if it's an actual silhouette. But um, if you cut things out in white, you can color them any color you want. So, you know, that's a tip right there. But you can use all your, you know, things that you've used for other things. Oh, here's another die cut here. There's a bit of a little pie chart wheel thing. So, anyway, if you like words, quotes, definitions and you want to use up some of your junk scrapbook stuff or whatever you can do the same type of junk journal scrapbook journal whatever kind of journal in a magazine and using definitions or quotes or or, or any kind of words that you like okay so i've just pulled a couple of books out here uh, for, these are old ones and i just grabbed three off the shelf in no particular order like here's a penguin dictionary of quotations okay so there's all kinds of uh you know just your quotations there's also books out now from scrapbook times like these let me pull these two here <clears throat> you know you got your ultimate perfect word with uh you know little quotes little quick quotes and i know that we've all used these in art journaling before uh, i just sent music scrap jean one that's all um lyrics because she likes doing musical in her art journal she does musical lyrics and lines from uh music uh, songs so uh, you know I, I never used it so Jean does all her art journaling practically you know almost all of her art journaling with um, music quotes music lines songs and so uh, so there's that so you can find uh, quotes and word things any you know anything that you like this this is some that have words and this is ultimate cards which have little you know sayings and they're divided up by um they're divided up in uh topics okay so those that kind of thing and then of course you know you got your dictionary of quotes i've got tons of quote books this is an old one here but I just pulled some things out just to kind of give you some more ideas. If you all have any questions, put them in caps. Um, here is, this one's called Get Thee to a Punnery. It's all about puns. And I have all kinds of books by this guy. It's hilarious. And anyway, um, I love words. I love studying words. I love reading about words. And uh, so these are all puns. So if you want to do something funny punny <laughs> uh, here's another one on word histories so if you like um, etymology and I have to be careful I always want to say entomology and get the bugs and the words mixed up <laughs> one year Annie went as an entomologist she's a nurse and uh, works at a hospital and uh, when uh, one Halloween a few years ago she went as an entomologist so she wore her lab coat and little plastic bugs stuck on her and her stethoscope and glasses and anyway so uh yes but etymology is a study of words uh puns yeah yeah well, of course now and also guys i have a, a you know i've got a lot of books because you know this was pre-internet you know uh but you can find all kinds of things on the internet you don't have to have the books although i love having the books but you can just look it up online and just look up puns, look up, you know, word histories, etymology, whatever. And um, so it's just fun. These, these are the kind of things that, you know, you can learn and art. So you can have like little arty word bites, you know. 
little bits of word history or quotes or whatever you like um, in your magazine journal along with kind of a junk journal a um, you know just whatever y'all know what I mean I don't have to explain all this yeah <laughs> you know and then you could have um, just have a uh, you know something like this and then have one little bit with let me see um, let me just find a blank card here. Uh, I've got tons of, uh, what do you call it, uh, scrapbook project life cards. But I do use them for other things. So you could write one little word history on here. Your teenager would love that, yeah. You could write one little word history on here. You could have that on here. So you see where, I, see where I'm going here? You smell what I'm stepping in, <laughs> as Denise would say. <laughs> So here would be, there's practically a full page right here. You could put one, you could even cut the word out, like if you were doing a word, you know. Um, let me just, you know, grab a word here. Like uh, court. I just picked up court right there. Or cousin. Um, you know, chivalry. You know, pick out chivalry. And so you could, uh, if you like to do any kind of hand lettering, you could write chivalry there. You could have the history of chivalry that could lead on to knights and castles. And, you know, it just remember, you always need your idea notebook with you or a post-it note next to you that you can add to your idea book. But that's how you mind map out things. Like if you had chivalry, what comes to your mind? You know, um, kings and queens and chivalry you know knights and castles there's just so much and that's the kind of thing that I always like to keep in my idea notebook where I collect my ideas so just like this right here and then you have a page ready to go with whatever you want and of course you can always color combination your themes with um, you know there's adventure that go good with chivalry uh, anyway and then you can uh, <laughs> you could color, you know, co coordinate. Now, what I like to do, though, is I like to have a lot of magazine image pages done. And also, it's another place, you know, I have a desk journal where I'll scrape off leftover paints out of my, you know, when I have leftover paint or leftover uh, collage bits, leftover collage bits glue those in and then you can work around that or on top of it or paint even paint over it so I'm gonna go ahead and show you a few more pages in here some are further along them alright so here's one this was the lively art lettering that was already in the magazine so I left it I did not um, get rid of that but it had some orangey kind of background there so I used that color as a basis for where I was going with the rest this is just some stencils and some stamps. So this is some stencil and stamps using, you know, orange. Okay. Um, okay, so here's another one. This was already here. And this was already here. I had left over, like, leopard napkin bits. This is a stencil. Stencil. And so what I did was I used the yellow, orange, and black that was on this. This right here was already here. This bit right here. That's There's no paint on that. Okay. Uh, I used that as my color basis for other things. This was already here. <clears throat> and then I went with orange, this leopard napkin, and built on it. Alright. So I just want to kind of show you a few ideas here. Some of my, not necessarily my favorites, but some different ones. Okay, here's one that had some kind of a, like a off color, like a cream color, uh, paper folded something. So I even have a little sketch here with a little face to like maybe make that a hat. And this just says treasures. That was already there. I used some stencils and then uh, painted it all out in a cream color to kind of go with that feel. And then you can ink your edges or not, you know. If you have any questions, put them in caps. I'm just going to try to flip through here and find some that are a little different. And uh, and then some, like for instance here. Okay, I, kn I knew that I wanted to do the, the uh, get rid of all the text. So I just use white paint as a base. 
Uh, it's going to depend on the color you want to paint. Like if I wanted to paint a background, say um, chartreuse, you know, or the you know the citron green, it's not very opaque. It's not as opaque as some colors, yellow, lime green, some reds. So if you want it to be a solid red background or whatever the, some of those more translucent colors are, then you might want to paint it out with white first. I don't just so, I just use white acrylic paint. <clears throat> but you can see how I left. I call it reverse collage where you leave things rather than, um, rather than add things. But you can add things too. All right, let's see. Let me flip through here for a couple others. Uh, I've got a couple, two or three different. Okay, so here, here is where I was doing a project with lettering. So back here, hang on, let me find where it starts. Okay, so here's, a, I'll just show you some of the pages where it's got some base colors on. So this was another creamy color with some brown in here. And so you can see, this is a great way to practice your color matching, your color combinations, uh, getting color ideas. Like, you know, people, I don't know what color. You know, I don't know what color combinations. Well, if you have these magazine journals like this, especially if they're like artsy ones, you know, where they've got a lot of different art in them, or even like nature, any of them really, they're all going to have color combinations. And you can base your colors on the image that you want to keep. Okay, here's one where it had this little windmill here. So all this is painted out. And oh, this is where I was um, using the um, dropper, just using the stopper, the dropper. Let's do I have an ink bottle right here? Just drawing with. Uh, drawing just with the stopper. So just taking the stopper and drawing with it, writing with it, I should say. So I have a few pages where I practice that. So you'll just get so many ideas, guys. There's just no reason not to have ideas. Here's one where I did travel and uh, it had a little bit of a windmill here. And then I added my own um, drawings here. This is, again, this is all just done with the uh, the stopper, you know, taking the stopper and and painting with it or writing with it. So, and then writing like travel. I just practice some different ones. <clears throat> right, making a tree with the stopper bottle, doing some splats. But my color combinations came from something that was already there. You know? So, yeah, here's one that says dreams. So, do you, are y'all getting the idea? Are y'all getting the idea? <laughs> All this is paint here. All this is paint. It's just a great way to take the color combinations there's something there I got something on there ACB and then just doing you know every page is different and again you could take these kind of pages like this all right here's just for instance here's a sticker look here's a leftover sticker you know And again, use these for your word, uh, your definitions, your quotes, anything like that. Or it could actually be a, a journal that you um, you actually journal in. But uh, don't feel intimidated by the paint because that's one of the things that I did not like about acrylic paint. Is really the only thing you could write with was a you know a big biro that would go over. Uh, the acrylic paint without ruining it, you know, not like a Sharpie. So that's what I'm saying. If you take cards, you know, and you can write on them and then put, so you don't have to, um, you don't have to write on the actual page is what I'm saying. You could write on your uh, cards. <clears throat> but you can just kind of see how you can play around with, you know, whatever. It's almost like you make it kind of like a junk journal. And they don't have to be there either. 
I mean, you can cover those people up. It's, for me, it's the color combinations that I, uh, you know, I like to play with. You see? And if you've done any kind of art journaling or scrapbooking, you know the deal. You know the dealio. <laughs> how to do layouts. But, you know, just look right there. That's an awesome page to write, you know, your quotes or definitions or anything. This has the word paradise left over from underneath. What, what if you did a whole thing on the definition and the history of the word paradise? You know, that's why I'm saying, you know, your little word history books and all that. <clears throat> Here. Any questions? Wait to see if chat check uh check uh the catches up. Hey Demonte, anybody else popping in? Lynn? Thanks, guys. So, any questions on, you know, or any more ideas on any of this? Let me show you a few more pages in here. And this, I got, I got, you know, multiple. And I can't find the one we worked on. I can't find the one we worked on um, last, um, last time. The new one. It's here somewhere. All right, so let me look at the other one here. This is another one. And again, this is the one with the uh, spine that didn't warp as quite as bad as the other one because I went front to back. And, uh, yeah. <sighs> so on this one, I did like a table of contents. I left the table of contents title there. And then just put one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, put my own numbers on there so you can make your own table of contents. Yes, Design Seeds is an awesome one for uh, color combinations. But it's just great, guys, if you can make your own, you know. sunflower so I'm just kind of flipping through here and finding some of the pages that I think are kind of interesting or colorful I have different colors again you just take the colors from the magazine and then use that as your color idea so you don't have to think up colors if you uh, use what's there Here's a piece of washi tape. I think something tore there, so I glued in a piece of washi tape. Hey, Margaret. Dorothy, anybody else popping in? Hello, Mar cat. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> So, yeah, you know, take bits of whatever and add your own, add your own uh, words, definitions, or quotes, you know, with any bits of whatever you have that you want to add with it. Because you'll, you'll won't run out of ideas if you do things like this, guys. I'm just flipping through, finding some that are, you know, different. Each one's a little different. Here's one that already had a bird there, so I added my own page, own text page in there. Add your own paint, your own inks whatever here we did a little scribble of some pasta um portfolios there i think and that's the other thing in a lot of these kind of mixed media journals you're using things like say um where are mine um
<clears throat> like your uh, portfolio oil pastels. You know you can't write over these, even with a Bic pen. You can't write over um, these uh, oil, you know, like whatever kind of oil pastels. These are just the portfolio ones, the cheap ones. You know that, that you can't write over that, you know, when you smear that in. So again, that's another uh, reason to use, you know, your own cards or your own, um, to put your own quotes on. All right, so anytime you use any kind of uh, materials that are not conducive to being written over, you know, that's just another reason to cut them out. And if you have old dictionaries or old, um, like, I mean, you know, some of these are pretty old that I showed. You could cut these, you know, cut them out. Or, you know, if you want, I, I don't like making copies of anything. I, I just take it right out of books, you know, old books that are uh, destined for the destined for the landfill and give them new life. Okay, here's one. See? I've shown these before. I've shown them before. Not necessarily, I mean, I'm not obviously not showing you every single page. I'm just kind of flipping through here. Uh, to give you the ideas that, um, you know, you can put your quotes on top of this. Here's one that doesn't have much on it, just some paint. And these are quite old, guys. These are way before I was even, um, other than showing some examples, these, most of these are all before I was even uploading to YouTube. They are just from Ustream from years ago. Yeah, I love my portfolios as well, Julie Topaz, the oil, you know, the oil pat, the um, portfolios, but you can't write over them. And so, if but if you glue things over them, this is actually a real stencil that got crusty. <laughs> so I just glued it in here. I used it, and this was a cardboard one, like, you know, one of the, uh, it was a cardboard or paper one. And so I used it a lot, and then I just actually glued the actual stencil in there. But again, guys, you know, just uh, there's just so much. And I'm, I'm just picking up what I just have right here. Um, little bits of whatever, you know, and do you a layout with, you know, bits. And then put some quotes or words. You could write some on there or, you know, glue them in. So, yeah, here's one where it's got a lot of space. You could put a whole, you know, history of a word right there. Yes, yeah, crusty bits. That's right, Julie. <laughs> and see, look, upon a star was already there, so I let it peek through. <laughs> oh, let's see, do I have any other thing in here, this one? And you can add your inks and anything. You can add all your stuff. Here's I did a little bit of drawing here. There was a little leaf there, so I just started duplicating the little drawing. And then you can add drips. You can add your inks, you know, like your ink pads. Like. Take your ink pads and put your own on there. Look, see how that looks? I don't know if that's showing up. And this is my favorite one. It's my coconut. It still smells too. I don't know how old these are. These are the old Ranger scented ink pads. I have a few of them. I don't think there's dates on them, but they're old. I actually had a couple, and then years later, Artie Dar sent me some because um, she knew how much I liked them. She, I think she got them at the Ranger. Um, sale but anyway i just want to show you that you can do that so anything that you've done with any of your mixed media throughout the years you can add into a magazine journal and just glue a bunch of magazines together in this case this one has three some have two depending on how thick you want it um let's see here so you can just see here some are flat Yeah, they're fun. 
so yeah I think you get the idea right <laughs> but again then just take your quote books your word histories your you know your quote books whatever you know just song lyrics so or if you're doing nano J jumo I think that's how you say it then use a magazine use a magazine to do that in you know so let's see oh here's somewhere I heavily inked with the ink pads all that's created with the ink pad right there yeah you all got any questions or anything and use your bits like look here's a here's a gold leftover be a be faux femora <laughs> So, you know, it's just fun to, you can play with all your little scraps, all your little bits, all your leftover paints. Okay. Okay, so there's that one, and then the new one of the new ones that we made. I can't find the one we actually worked in. Um, I put it away last time. I put it away so well I can't find it. Let me move all these books. On. Oh, and also if you have any kind of your flow, you know, like I was picking things out of the Flow magazine to put in those uh, uh, page protector pocket, you know leftovers and uh and bits along with the um old art that i have i have sent to me over the years and i already mailed all those out i think except one uh or two yeah that i have to go overseas your magazine journal up and post oh you oh is that you know what julie i've been watching that and i've been liking those i did not know that was a magazine journal Julie Topaz has been posting um, awesome journal pages. I did not know that was a magazine journal. Awesome. That's awesome, Julie. Now I'm going to go back and look at them again. Okay, so, um, you know, like your flow, you know, the tags and papers and things like that. Uh, you know, you can you can uh, use these, you know, just like you would. They're a little thinner than, like, scrapbook papers. Okay, so anyway, you can use that stuff. What else? Um, so this is the one that we made, one of the ones that we made the other day, and it's out of two Flow magazines, and um, this was already the cover on the inside. It has a, this Flow belongs to, you could, you know, just put this book belongs to, and so you can pick what you like, and keep it and and then just paint out the rest now the flow magazine has a combination of matte paper and semi gloss I don't know that it has real shiny paper it has like a satiny paper some has like a satin paper and some has a matte paper but a lot of magazines well yeah there here's some with the gloss so you know a lot of magazines are going to have different um, types of paper but acrylic paint will go over it all. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Amazon has Prismas on sale. Uh, the girls are posting in a uh, chat. You know, and you can even leave like here's a little bit of advertisement inside this would be a good little just leave that in leave that in and just paint over it you know paint over the pages and then this is where I glued the two together there's where it's thicker because I've glued two together so anyway I think y'all kind of get the idea any questions on this I just wanted to kind of review um, the magazine journal things. We haven't done anything in it in a while. And also to um, tell you to use quotes, lyrics, um, 
uh, definitions, word histories, any kind of little bit of word bites. So, anybody besides Julie Topaz doing? Look, there's already a quote on this one. You can discover more about a person in an hour of play than a year of a conversation. Plato. So, there you go. That one's already done for you. <laughs> but, you know, just in word histories or anything. So let's just, like, for instance, um, let's just go with this one real quick. Um, you can just start by, which color do I want? Maybe a little of both. You can just start by putting out some paint. Not the, not the crusty bits. <laughs> Take your palette knife and smear some in. Baby wipe. Dee Dee, what is the flow magazine you are tearing out? That's the flow book. Here, let me finish this first because it's going to dry. This, these are flow magazines that are glued together. The flow books. Uh, and you can get them in Barnes and Noble. And I get them at Books a Million too. Um, at books, at bookstore. Now you can always subscribe to flow and you can buy things. Now they're out of the Netherlands. So they, if you subscribe to them, they are a Dutch company, and uh, but they are all over the world, and they have um, they have the Dutch version, and then they have the English version, and then sometimes they have the Dutch English version. But anyway, in the flow books, they are all. It's there's no like articles really, maybe a maybe a one, but they're not articles. It's all paper. It's paper tags, stickers, postcards, envelopes, stationery. They always have something that folds out, like this one has a star banner, a banner of stars. Um, so it's just, and they're, they're 30 bucks though, guys. But if you like stationery, tags, gift cards, paper dolls, uh, postcards, anything like that. That's all it is. It's just one thick book full of paper items. So, and they're they're useful. I mean, there's tags and stationery and envelopes, everything in it. So, if you like any of that kind of stuff, it's totally, in my opinion, worth thirty dollars. And I've got three of them, and I have barely made a dent in them, and I'm constantly using them. It's like they multiply upon themselves. I never run out. <laughs> Now there's newer ones out too. I've only got three. I think there's more. There's more out that I don't. You know, I don't have every one. So, um, you're gonna start a magazine journal, Penny. I know. Isn't it fun? Okay. So now we got like a little bit of a background. Now you can still see some of the words through, but you can paint more if you don't want the words showing through. All right. But let's just go ahead and add a little bit of this blue color. See, I'm using the colors that are here. Let's use a little bit of that blue, and maybe I'll just do it for the sake. I probably wouldn't do it if I was doing this just by myself. Add the red, but I'm going to go ahead and add the red as well. Okay, now you don't have to scrape it. You can actually paint it on. I just like the way the scrapey bits look. You know, I like the way that looks. <laughs> but, you know, you don't have, and you could carry it over to this page too. You don't have to do all, you know, messy. But I like that look. I like the messy look. It gives you more freedom, more choices. Your magazines are precious. You might have to start with the junk mail. Yeah, well, use whatever. You know, you're not, you, you can't be afraid. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing. I have so many magazines that I've looked at, used, and, you know, uh, enjoyed and now they're just sitting on a shelf <laughs> you know not not being used so you know maybe you could even stamp some you could you know you could stencil just whatever you know 
dulu. Don't be afraid. You're the boss of your magazine journal. <laughs> Hi, Lindsay Whimsy. Okay. <laughs> And then you have a place here for, our, you know, a quote. You could put, like, see how our shirt's white, or dress is white with triangles? You could white this out and put some triangles in there. Or even if this is a place where you put your white card with your quote here. But you can still add more stuff. See how that kind of ties in? Now, this is all wet. I'm trying not to get it all over me. But... See what I mean, Burn? And then you have your quote there. And if you do this with all your pages, it's just fun. Funnage. And it's also um, creative. Here's some, some little bits of words. You know, what if their little, their little uh, scooters had some words next to it? So you just play. You just play. Okay, let me take a picture because I need to have something to post when I post this video. I'm going to have to have something for a thumbnail. And then we'll go uh, do a, a, some coloring. So let me ask y'all to real quick if you have any questions before we carry on with another segment. Don't see doing laundry one. <laughs> I do laundry while I'm on. <laughs> when I go and get coffee, I turn the, you know, quickly turn the dryer on, whatever, you know. But speaking of coffee, I did make a fresh pot before I hit record. So, okay. Any questions? Again, use, you know, then you can hand, do your own handwriting. Of course, you could, you know, print it. You could cut out quotes if you don't want to write them. Cut them out, you know, if you don't want to cut up your quote book, make a copy of the quote. You can resize it. You can type it out in, in Word and print it out in whatever size you want and, put, and just glue your quotes in. So you don't even have to write them. You can cut them out and uh, glue them in yourself. Paintbrushes. Yeah, you can use paintbrushes. I just happened to have my palette knife there because I was scraping paint. You can paint, you know, you can have your rough edges and take your baby wipe and smooth it out along the edges. Use your ink pads, whatever. I know I save hundreds of Slimming World magazines in the shed. <laughs> Bonnie. Okay, so there you go, guys. Um, so I hope you enjoyed just getting some ideas. Again, find your quote books, your word books, your etymo et et etymology, etymology, etymology books. Let's don't do bugs. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, well, you can glue bugs in there if you want, but, you know. So, <laughs> all right, guys. So hang on. Hey, Jean, we're just talking about quotes, and I was telling them how you like to use your music lyrics, song, you know, song lyrics and everything in your journals. So, okay, guys, so hang on, and I'll be right back. So I hope you all enjoy that little uh, magazine journal segment, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 